Okay guys, we have arrived to Montgomery. We've just gone into the Rosa Parks Museum. You can't take any photos or videos in there, so I don't have any footage. So there's like two parts of it. There's like a, I don't know, a children's part yeah. or something? Children's they exhibition? Don't talk about Rosa Parks. But yeah, that doesn't cover anything to at Rosa Parks. Um, so we just did the other half of the exhibition and it literally gives a reenactment of when she wouldn't give her seat up and then it just has loads of information plant bay yeah baby now the the museum itself is i'd say we were in there for about an hour yeah like it, it's, it's not, not too long. long which i liked because yeah. sometimes it gets ah oh, hold on sorry there's alarm going off but yeah sometimes when it's um oh okay <laughs> Yeah, so sometimes when I'm at museums, they're just, if it's too long, I'm not, I get to a point where I'm just not reading anymore. But anyways, so where the museum is, that's where she would have been arrested because she literally only got on and then I think she rode for like two blocks and then that's when she was arrested. So the museum is where she was arrested, but we're just walking around to where she would have boarded and there is, I think there's like a statue of her yeah. there. Yeah. So we're gonna go find that. But also there's a place called Plant Bay, which is literally around the corner and it's a fully vegan place. So I love that for us. Um, so we found her. She is tiny <laughs> and like literally, so this is where she boarded. This would have been the bus stop, but if you just literally go around that corner, walk not even three minutes, yeah. that's where she would have been taken off the bus and arrested. Like it's literally, I'd say she was on the bus for a couple of minutes. Yeah. To think like it was such a short period of time. Oh, I don't know. It's just madness. Also, you can't see because I'm kind of in the way, but December 1st is the official Rosa Parks holiday. Oh, so she was arrested on the 1st of December. Again, another city with nobody about. It's just crazy, yeah. crazy, crazy. There's a good few murals here as well. So here is one. You saw a good few now. So we walked around to that mother of gynecology park, mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah. But it's a gynecology, and it's where there was this man and he literally performed like sterilization and horrible experiments on both women and men but and i think they were of enslaved people but it was really strange when we got there first of all it was like 18 dollars in which was like crazy money so i didn't really care too much to win so i waited outside but he went in and it made no sense in there there was no flow to the park it was it's weird like it's outside but it's tiny and apparently that is where he he did all the experiments but like it only touched on like two sisters that were sterilized when they were like 12 and 13 or something like that or two people and then the rest of it just was just random pieces of information but mm. not necessarily related to this or something yeah, i don't know i don't know so I don't know if I'd recommend it because it just seems like extortionate money. It'd be different if it was like a fucking fiver in. You'd be like, okay. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. It just seemed very strange mm -hmm. and there was no one there. So I don't know if I'd recommend that. Anyways, we are going <coughs> to... It's like a two minute drive. Oh my God. Our Airbnb is a two minute drive. Oh, there's a little trolley. Yeah, so we're going to go check into our Airbnb. We have checked into the Airbnb, excuse the mess that we have already made. Our case is excessive amount of grocery bags. We're afraid of going hungry, okay? <laughs> we have our long sofa, uh -huh. telly, full kitchen, little butcher board, massive fridge freezer. Then you come through here, the bathroom. First place we've had white towels. <laughs> Washer dryer, bedroom number one. Bedroom number two, who knew? We didn't even know there was bedrooms here, or two bedrooms here. There's our car and people also. It's very, very, very desolate. <laughs> the neighborhood, well, it's not even really a neighborhood, it's like a main road. Yeah. It's kind of scary out there, I'm not gonna lie. I'll show you through the blinds. This is our neighborhood. A little bit scary. <laughs> Defo locked in. So yeah, we're just... Oh, they're gone out already. Um, looks like that's an abandoned house. So that's kind of scary. <laughs> 
Yeah, they could be, yeah. Don't, that light was already on. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. And then this house over here also looks abandoned. <laughs> so we did find out that our house, well, the place that we're staying in, so it was all one gaff, and then they re modeled it and made three gaffs out of it for Airbnbs. And apparently, oh, that's that the hairdressers. Oh my god. Remember we were walking yeah. by, I was like, oh, is that it? Yeah. So apparently our next door neighbours is Coretta Scott King's Coretta Scott King's hairdresser. Hair salon. Hair yeah. salon. So that's kind of cool. So a lovely little bit of history for us there. So we're going to the river walk. Have a little walkabout. Do a little strolly wally. So I'm going to take you all along with me. But also then on the way back, we're going to go to Plant Bay and we're going to get mac and cheese because we do have microwavable meals. So we should eat them. So we're going to do that. We're going to get Plant Bay to take away. Just a little side because you got to love mac and cheese. You're going to love it. So that's the POA and we're only like a couple of minute drive from the river walk. Okay, change of plan. We couldn't get parking, so we're not going to do the river walk thingy. But we might go first thing in the morning. Well, like but when we leave, when we check out, then yeah, we might go for the walk and then make our way up to Birmingham. So yeah, we're just in plan day. And they don't have mac and cheese, which is really sad. So we got fried pickles, chips, and collard greens. They're all sides, so there'll be little small bits. But we'll have it with our microwavable meal as well, so that's not going to go to waste. Back in the Airbnb, our stuff is in the microwave. Microwave, so funny. <laughs> you have to give a name for the um, food when you're at Plant Bay, and they obviously just call your name then when your order's ready. They're like Jesse, so I walked up. They got the food, and they're like, "Oh, sorry." Um, and they were like looking past me, and they're like, "Jesse," I was just like, "Yeah, that's me." That, that's me. And they're like, "Oh." Oh, okay, because obviously most Jessies here are boys. I don't know why it was so funny and you could tell she was mortified as hell. She said, oh, okay. <laughs> Anyways, I'll show you the food when we've opened it. Okay, so they put them all in together. So the chips is a mixture of like potatoes and sweet potato. Then these are the deep fried pickles, which I'm very excited to try them. And then I think these are like the collie wings. And then we have two ranch sauces. And then uh, I think we're guessing that's like a taco sauce. Or maybe it's like Southwest sauce or something. Yeah. And we've got treacle tats on the telefish on. And we're just waiting on mine to get out of the microwave. Okay, so I just went back for the bag today. And we did a little trial of it being plugged into my phone. Sorry, I don't know if I said, explained what this is, but like you plug the phone the, the, this phone into your real phone and you can actually take calls in it but it, it's pretty it's like having an ox so i wanted to trial it before i left mobile so the only way i could do that was to play music through it which it worked because eve did, doesn't have internet on her phone we just got one internet for one phone anyways so now we both have internet because we're using the wi-fi so i guess eve is gonna just call me on whatsapp and i'm gonna answer that okay drift is calling Hello. Hi. Oh, I can't hear you. Um, oh, oh, wait. Mute? Unmute? No. Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, I hear you in there. <laughs> I'll call you back. I'll call you back. Yeah, call me back. <laughs> okay, well, that didn't work. Okay, let's just reconnect. Connect. Oh, connecting. Oh, okay. I think it's connected, guys. I think it's connected this time. Oh, Drift is calling. Excuse oh, me. It's not expected. Hello. Hello. Oh, no, I still can't do it. <laughs> Oh no, audio. Oh, lightning. Hello. Hello. Hi, how's it going? I'm sorry, just excuse me, just have to take this call. Hi, how's it going? Listen, come here. How are the travels going for you? Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I've yourself. I think you're um, buying. Oh, well, I'll tell you this one thing, and I definitely can't hear you sitting beside me, but um, I got this new phone. Um, no, sorry, excuse me. I got this new bag. I got it in a, a little. Uh, city in Alabama called Mobile and the bag is gorgeous. It's beautiful colors. It's just pinks. There's oranges There's oranges. There's yellows. <laughs> it's gorgeous gorgeous. You'd love it But the handle is actually a phone, but believe it or not you plug the phone into your phone You can actually take calls through it. As a matter of fact, I'm actually taking this call through my phone The the, the phone on the bag phone <laughs> Anyways, oh is that again? Sorry. Oh, it sounds lovely. Oh, it, it, it's very lovely mm. <laughs> Well must go talk soon. Okay, mustache. Talk soon. 
<laughs> oh my god, that's so cool. <laughs> wow, that's incredible. Good morning, guys. We have checked out. This is just our neighborhood. This is actually where we were staying in there. That yellow door. But this place next door is the salon of Coretta Scott King. I can never remember her name. There it is. House of Beauty. That's mad, isn't it? Oh, they must have been using that. Look. It says get your COVID-19 vaccine. Unless it's just advertising. There it is. In all its glory. Right next door to us. So we just went into here for an iced coffee. But even more so in America than anywhere yeah. else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like America's oat milk is so different to Irish oat milk. Now, if you're here a long time, you know I'm not really an oat milk girly. Yeah. Wouldn't be for me now. Mm. I will drink it. I absolutely will. It's not the worst tasting thing in the world. It absolutely isn't. It's but really not my favourite. Not my favourite. I think it's overhyped. And I, I, yeah. I, I truly believe that people who like love oat milk are talking shy. <laughs> <laughs> I just like, you can't. It's no, no, it's a lie. Anyways, they only had oat milk in here. But American oat milk tastes very different to Irish oat milk. You but get anyways. used to it as the sip go yeah. on. Yeah, even just having that second yeah. or third sip there, I'm like, oh, but it doesn't taste as bad. Which is not my favourite. Tisn't. Anyways, that little coffee shop was so cute. Mm. And like, it's mad, like, it's desolate around here. But when we went in there, there was loads of people. There's loads of people in there, but I'm like, you don't see them on the roads, you don't see them walking. It's like, how did you get in there? <laughs> we're walking back to the car and we're going to do our little river walk. Yeah. Cool. Oh, there's there's a person on the roads. <laughs> Whoa! I'm driving by Martin, Martin Luther King's house. Oh yeah, Martin Luther King used to live here, so we're gonna maybe go like visit his gaff. Point three of a mile. Point three of a mile. That's nothing. Yeah. That's like a three minute drive. Yeah. Right. This is downtown. Is this downtown? Yep. Okay. Montgomery. Downtown Montgomery. On a Sunday morning. Not a sinner in sight. It and does? it was like this yesterday and Saturday. Yeah, like this like, is a weekend. Yeah. Where are the people? It does give Jackson vibes, but yeah. not as I not don't feel as, as scary. Scared. Yeah. yeah. Ten o'clock. I suppose like ten o'clock at home wouldn't be too busy on the yeah. roads. But there's always people out walking. There is. There's always people out walking. We've noticed as well that people only walk if they're exercising. Yeah. They're only on foot if you're walking your dog. If you're exercising. I'd love to know during the summer are there more people out in the evenings even. Yeah, or yeah. As it gets warmer. Yeah, are they like, oh this is cold weather, so yeah. we don't go out, we hibernate? I yeah. don't know. Just madness. But again, so much potential here. So much potential. Like even that coffee shop was yeah. so stunning. And so loads of people in it. Yeah. So people want to go to these places, yeah. yeah. Dr. Martin Luther King lived here. I wonder, can you actually go into it? In here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can. Uh, I was on Sunday. Oh, right, yes. So it's this gaff, 309? Yeah, the one you're standing like. Wow. I wonder what that placard says back there. Oh, here. There's another one down there. Oh, really? Yeah, that's the one I had saw. Well, go down and have a look and see what it says. Minister's home. Baptist Church. Okay, house build. Circa 1912, it has been the home of the ministers of Dexter Avenue Baptist Church since 1919. Its most famous occupant, Dr. Martin Luther King, lived here from September 54 to February 1960. During this time, he led the bus boycott, mm -hmm. launching an outstanding career as a world leader for civil rights and humanitarian causes. When a bomb, oh yeah, remember that? When a bomb damaged the house on January 31st, 1956, Dr. King returned from a boycott meeting and calmed an angry crowd from the porch, adverting possible violence. From 47 to 52, the house was occupied by Dr. Vernon Johns, an earlier advocate of civil rights. Continued on the other side. So cool to have actually just seen that. 
There's just another placard down here, so we're gonna go read that and see what that says. Harris House? Who is Harris? Okay, I'm just going to do a voiceover because some of these clips aren't fully making sense. But essentially the Harris house belonged to Dr. Harris and he was a registered pharmacist and he operated the Dean Drugstore in Montgomery, which was the oldest black drugstore. During the 55 to 56 Montgomery bus boycott, the Dean Drugstore served as a command centre where Dr. Harris played critical roles in communication and transportation, where in a headset he simultaneously dispatched vehicles while filling prescription. So the Dean Drugstore served as a secure meeting place during that turbulent time. So this is Harris's gaff. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice indeed. But yeah, mad to think like he's one, two, three gaffs down from Martin Luther King. <laughs> so we just filled up the petrol that's not in focus Aww. and we were like right let's head to the river walk closed closed on sundays so i guess we won't be doing our our, our river walk but we did get to see martin luther king's gaff so that was cool um so yeah i guess we either make our way to birmingham or see if there's nothing else to do here <laughs> 